Hello everyone, this is the Techno Dog channel, a channel about the latest smartphones in the industry. Today I'm going to compare the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 Pro and the Samsung Galaxy A31. How are they different? How to find the best prices for these smartphones? Subscribe to our Techno Dog channel and click on the bell so you'll never miss new interesting reviews. Don't forget to like this video and share your opinion in the comments below. So, let's get started. The Samsung Galaxy A31 has a shiny plastic case. The screen is enclosed in thin plastic frames, the bottom frame is thicker than the rest. The smartphone has a nice modern design. There are four colors available, they are white, black, red, and blue. The phone sparkles and shimmers, but the dark spots appear on its surface and the slippery body is difficult to hold in hand. The Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 Pro is covered with the Corning Gorilla Glass 5, both front and back. The screen is framed by thin plastic frames with rounded edges. There is protection against dust and splashes. The backside has beveled side edges for maximum comfort. The case with 3D glass rounded on four sides fits perfectly in the hand. The colors of the smartphone can be pearl white, coniferous green, mineral gray, or blue. There is also a spectacular gradient in the form of light overflows. The smartphones vary in size. The Galaxy A31 is 159.3 millimeters long, 73.1 millimeters wide, and 8.6 millimeters thick. Its weight is 185 grams. The Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 Pro is bigger and heavier. Its length is 161.4 millimeters, its width is 76.4 millimeters, and its thickness is 8.8 .8 millimeters. The weight of the smartphone is 200 grams. The front camera for both smartphones is located in the drop-shaped cutout at the top of the screen in the middle. The speaker is above the cameras. The rear camera of the smartphones consists of four lenses each. The Galaxy A31 has a camera and the LED flash placed in a square block in the upper left corner on the back of the case. There is a vertical Samsung inscription not far from the bottom. The quad camera of the Redmi Note 8 Pro is located at the top of the back of the case in the middle. Three lenses are placed in a vertical unit. There is the depth sensor and the LED flash on the right. The Redmi inscription is at the bottom in the middle. The Galaxy A31 has an on-screen fingerprint sensor, accelerometer, gyro sensor, geomagnetic sensor, light sensor, virtual presence sensor. The fingerprint sensor of the Redmi Note 8 Pro is located on the back under the block with three cameras. There is also a light sensor, compass, gyroscope, proximity sensor. The Redmi Note 8 Pro has an infrared port. Both smartphones have the NFC module. The function keys of smartphones are located identically. On the right edge, there is a volume key and a power button. On the left edge of the Galaxy A31, there is a micro SD card slot with a capacity of up to 512 gigabytes. The Redmi Note 8 Pro has a slot for two nano SIM cards on its left edge. You can install a micro SD instead of a SIM card. At the bottom of the smartphones, there is an audio output for 3.5mm headphones, a Type-C charger connector. At the bottom, there is a microphone and a speaker. At the top, there is a second microphone for noise reduction. The Redmi Note 8 Pro also has an IR sensor for controlling home devices. The memory configuration of the Galaxy A31 is 4 GB, 6 GB of RAM, and 64, 128 GB of ROM. The Redmi Note 8 Pro has 6 GB or 8 GB of RAM, and 64 GB, 128 GB, or 256 GB of ROM. The Galaxy A31 has a Super AMOLED screen with wide viewing angles. The diagonal size is 6.4 inches, resolution is 1080 by 2400 pixels, aspect ratio is 20 to 9, and the PPI is 411. The Redmi Note 8 Pro has the IPS LCD screen with wide viewing angles. The diagonal size is 6.53 inches. The aspect ratio is 19.5 to 9. 
The resolution is 1080 by 2340 pixels, FHD+. The PPI is 395. The contrast ratio is 1500 to 1. The maximum brightness is 500 nits. The screen protector is the Corning Gorilla Glass 5 with oleophobic coating. The screen brightness of both smartphones is automatically adjusted. There is a blue filter to protect the eyes, a fashionable black theme, and color temperature adjustment. The Galaxy A31 runs on the Android 10.0 with one UI 2.0 shell. The interface is clear, the menu is easy to navigate. The Redmi Note 8 Pro runs on the Android 9.0 Pi with the ability to upgrade to Android 10.0 with the MIUI 10 shell. This supports MyTurbo, optimization of I.O. defragmentation, optimization of application launch speed. The Game Turbo 2.0 conducts a comprehensive analysis of the gameplay for intelligent system customization. Custom game, video game settings, and improved performance available in games. You can adjust the display boundaries and turn off automatic brightness control. The eye protection mode is available. You also can take a screenshot with a three-finger gesture. The rear camera of both smartphones has four lenses and the LED flash. The Galaxy A31 have them placed in a square block. This consists of the main camera with a resolution of 48 megapixels and aperture f2.0. The ultra-wide camera, 8 megapixels, with aperture f2.2. The macro module, 5 megapixels, with aperture f2.4. And the depth sensor of 5 megapixels with aperture f2.4 to create a bokeh effect. The main camera, with a high-resolution matrix, makes bright and clear pictures day and night. The 123-degree ultra-wide angle camera is suitable for shooting landscapes and group portraits. The macro lens captures the smallest details and textures of an object when shooting from a short distance. The depth sensor allows you to create portrait shots with focus on the image object and blur the background. The camera takes vivid photographs during the day and clear detailed pictures even in the dark thanks to the nighttime technology. The resolution of the front camera of the Galaxy A31 is 20 megapixels. The aperture is f2.2. The camera creates clear selfies with blurred the background. The color reproduction of images is natural. The smartphone shoots videos with a maximum resolution of full HD with a frequency of 30 FPS. The Redmi Note 8 Pro quad camera consists of the main camera with a resolution of 64 megapixels and aperture f1.89. The wide-angle camera is 8 megapixels with an aperture f2.2. The macro photography module is 2 megapixels with aperture f2.4. The depth sensor has the aperture f2.4. The LED flash is located under the camera. You won't spoil the pictures if there's not enough light. The camera shoots beautiful landscapes and clear portraits with bokeh effect. It supports the night shooting mode. The quality of the pictures is very good with a high degree of detail in the dark. The pictures taken with the macro module are good too. This lens takes good photos with a lot of details with a focusing distance of 2 centimeters. You can shoot short video, ultra wide angle video, macro video, slow motion video with a frequency of 960 frames, video with improvement, and time lapse with the main camera. The resolution of the front camera of the Redmi Note 8 Pro is 20 megapixels with aperture f2.0. The camera takes superb selfies because it supports portrait mode with adjustable background blur. It is also possible to adjust the depth of field. You have the option of recording short videos and videos with improvements as well. The Galaxy A31 has the fast 8-core MediaTek Helio P65 processor. The smartphone performance is maximized with the help of the Game Booster app. The user-friendly interface of the program allows you to control the gameplay. The Game Booster provides smoother graphics and more natural movement of objects in games. The artificial intelligence analyzes the actions of the player, optimizes battery consumption and speeds up the loading of games. 
The Redmi Note 8 Pro has the 12 nanometer MediaTek Helio G90T, a professional 8 core gaming processor. The graphics accelerator is the Mali G76 MC4. During games, the phone does not overheat. The game processor is equipped with a liquid cooling system. The powerful graphics processor provides the highest frame rate even in the most difficult games. The X-shaped Wi-Fi antenna provides stable signal reception. The memory configuration of the Galaxy A31 is 4GB, 6GB of RAM, and 64, 128GB of ROM. The Redmi Note 8 Pro has 6GB or 8GB of RAM and 64GB, 128GB or 256GB of ROM. Both smartphones support the necessary communication standards. There is support for 2.4 GHz, 5 GHz. Both use Bluetooth version 5.0 for data transfer. There is a GPS and NFC module. The battery capacity of the Galaxy A31 is 5000 mAh. There is a quick charge function, 15W. The battery capacity of the Redmi Note 8 Pro is slightly less. It is 4500 mAh. There is also quick charge, but it is for 18 watts. I've analyzed the reviews on these smartphones. What do the consumers say? Let's start with the negative reviews. The Galaxy A31. One, it has a slippery body, so it's hard to hold it in your hands. Two, there is no infrared port. Three, the fingerprint scanner works slowly. The Redmi Note 8 Pro. One, it has a poor shooting quality when shooting with insufficient lighting. Two, its battery is weak. Three, it has an active auto brightness. The Galaxy A31. One, it has a separate memory card slot. Two, it has a good battery capacity. Three, the camera takes good detailed pictures even in low light. Four, there is a quick charge function. The Redmi Note 8 Pro. One, it has a big screen. Two, the pictures are great quality. Three, there is an NFC. Four, there is an infrared port. So, we've just had a review comparison of two smartphones, the Samsung Galaxy A31 and the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 Pro. Both devices look decent. They both have several options for their body color, a powerful battery. There is also the fast charging function. It is 15 watts for the Galaxy A31 and it is 18 watts for the Redmi Note 8 Pro. Both phones have an NFC module. The Galaxy A31 has an on-screen fingerprint scanner. The Redmi Note 8 Pro has a fingerprint scanner on the back of the case under the cameras. The Galaxy A31 has a slot for two SIM cards and a slot for a memory card. The Redmi Note 8 Pro does not have a separate memory card slot. It can be installed in one of the slots for SIM cards. So, dear viewers, they are two wonderful smartphones. Now you can choose the one that you liked more. Share your opinion in the comments. I also left links to online stores under the video where you can find information about the best prices for these smartphones. Thank you for watching our videos. Thank you. Like this video, subscribe to the Technodog channel, and click on the bell. There are many interesting reviews of new smartphones yet to come. Bye, everyone.